Let's keep on seeing some more policies. Uh, for example, this one. Devices, that's uh, firewalls that allow risky protocol from the internet to the DMC. So here we have, well, that allows connection. And again, this is on possible communication. This doesn't have to be actual communication, but we know from the topology and the rules that that traffic can actually go from uh, on ports uh, 21 and 23 23 is Telnet, 21 I think it is FTP, or any one of these protocols, uh, allowing connection, connection from the internet and allow connection to the following asset building block. And this is a building block for the DMC asset. So this is a building block that, that was built with uh, prior with uh, when, when I defined the, the network. Uh, to uh, to curator where where I specify where are the devices that uh, sits on the DMC so I can just refer them by name uh, in here. See another example. See one related to uh, PCI. Uh, for example, detect insecure out of policy protocols within regulatory network. Let's open that one up and we see uh, again that this one is is talking to anything excluding protocols, uh, uh, excluding uh, ports 443 which is SS, uh, SSL and 22 which is SSH. So when, when I'm not using uh, SSL is when this, uh, this thing uh, triggers, and that's what I'm excluding those. And include assets, save searches, regulatory and compliance service. Again, this is a search that was probably done on the asset database where the my PCI servers are defined, so I can just refer them by name in here and can easily create uh, such policy. And again, I can do it on actual communication or possible communication. Actually, when I do actual communication, it involves them both. Because if, it's, it's, if there was an actual communication, it's because there was a possible one uh, to go. When you do possible, is that when you actually uh, restrict to not to the flows and the connection that had been seen by Curator, but just as the possible uh, path based on the configuration of the actual uh, device. And as we saw before, uh, if you return, uh, if you don't return asset but device rule, then uh, the set of questions actually uh, change as well. One thing that makes actually uh, risk manager very useful is when you are looking at offenses. Uh, let's look at all the offenses. And because we get all that topology, we can actually see uh, what is the attack path involved in the actual uh, communication. So if we select uh, any rule, for example, this one, authentication attended by an unauthorized user which is uh, yeah. Let's let's. I mean, we can actually, as we done before, go and, and look at the rules and explain all that. But what I want to show here is this button that reads "View Attack Path," and this allows us to actually see what was the 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 route that the actual uh, attack actually or offense actually took place, and that that allows us to see that uh, attack path. Uh, let's look at another offense. Uh, this one, attack followed by, uh, by uh, attack followed by an act, attack response followed by a policy, chat, detected. You know, look at all the chain. I mean, this is the beauty of, of Curator. Look at all the events that are actually chained. Everyone individually might not be, you know, for example, a, a scanning, something that happens all the time, but when it's followed by all these attacks, it's what actually what makes it relevant. Look at that. A thousand events and 3,000 flows make this particular offense. And if we, when we click onto the attack path, we can actually see, you know, that was a simple connection from the, the device to the external firewall. So that is the, uh, the actual uh, attack path that is available on the offenses when I have uh, QRM installed. In, in uh, Curator, uh, the reports are actually very easy to create. If I go to the report, 
Uh, for example, I can actually create a new report and uh, the wizard walks me, takes me by the hand and shows me all the steps. Um, I wanted to run this manually. Uh, I'm going to take only one pane, um, but you can select as many as and in the layout as you want, or as many as you want, four, as, as, uh, is this the, the largest number, but you can display it in, in whatever means you want. So let's select just one on a landscape uh, orientation. Let's put a title here. Uh, we're going to call these. Uh, let's say that we want to look for uh, rules, firewall rules. Uh, least used firewall rules. Uh, that's the title of the. You can put your your company logo if you have the the graphic in there. And in here on the chat, you need to actually select uh, that you are going to be. Uh, basing this report on device rules. And then uh, you, you want just the, the top 10. Uh, and the category that I want is here is, for example, less uh, used uh, deny rules. Okay, You can look at your f shadow rules in here. You know, and every, everything is displayed here. You can do it on based on the current configuration. Or you can uh, specify interval of time. Uh, uh, and that's pretty much all what we want to do here. So we say the container details. We click Next. We click Next. And uh, we want it in format PDF. We notice all the options that you have there. We click Next. Where, uh, where is it that we want to show it? We're going to show it on the console. Uh, actually, we can even make a, a very easy portlet. Or, or you want to send an email with that report and have an email. So let's leave it on the report console. Where do we want to keep it? Let's say that we want to keep it, you know, on the authentic. You, you, this, you, you, you select the group that you want in here. I'm not going to select any anyone, so it's going to put it at the top. And you click uh, Next, and we should be done now. When you click Finished, and uh, if we refresh here, we should see this uh, new report in here, last at uh, least use firewall rules. And actually, if we select that one and go into the action and we run it, run report, we should see, yeah, bang, is ready, and I have my PDF uh, in here, so I can click on it, and I can see that these are the least use rules. So with the same ease, that's everything in, in Curator. There's one more feature in Curator uh, Risk Manager, which is uh, simulation. But I don't have the data on this demonstration. So please uh, excuse me for showing this uh, from a PowerPoint presentation. But the idea is to uh, simulate type of attacks, mod make modifications on the topology, and see how things may propagate, which is a very useful, uh, you know, and sophisticated way of defending your network. So basically, with, with Curator uh, Risk Manager and the simulation, you can actually uh, precisely simulate up to five steps of propagation on how a particular uh, vulnerability can be exploited. And you see uh, which are the machines that can actually uh, be uh, compromised. And you get this type of results that we can actually see here. And you can even uh, make modifications to the topology and see how you can better defend against uh, those, uh, those uh, type of attack. Uh, 